Here we are at Blackmoor Farm. I'm Keith Cowis and the director of the independent charity Songbird Survival. And Blackmoor Farm is run by Robert Middleditch, who's the chairman of Songbird Survival. And we are today standing in some of the wild bird cover he's put out. And because Robert is one of those enlightened farmers, one of the 73% of British farmers who are in agri-environment schemes. Um, and it's, it's, Robert is, a, is fantastic at doing this. Lots of his farm is managed for wildlife, um, which is counteracting some of the adverse effects of the intensive um, farming which was brought in um, and subsidised by the government in the 60s and 70s. We're, we're, we're moving away from that sort of industrialised farming now, moving towards more nature-friendly, sympathetic farming. And Robert does that superbly well here. This is a recently established pond and nectar mix. It's now in its second year. Um, we've got quite a mixture in here of clover, lucerne, we've got some lapweed, we've got uh, one or two long flowering clovers, and um, all together we've got quite a mixture in here full of bumblebees, full of uh, butterflies when the sun is out. This is a great margin. Um, we have a few problems with docks, but we're Getting on top of those works very well. I'm now standing in one of five blocks of wild bird cover, which I have like this, which is here to supply during the cold winter months an apple supply of food for our, our farmland birds. In it, we have a mixture of millet, spring wheat, spring barley. Um, linseed, we have also some fodder radish, we have quite a mixture of seeds which will appeal to several different species. We expect to find lots of yellow hammers, limit, linnets and also uh, reed buntings, lots of chaffinches and we do get brambling. We all think about flowers and in the margins su supplying pollen and nectar for all the different pollinators but also a hedge is a tremendous source of pollen and nectar. This one's been in since 1992, um, and it's made a really great hedge. So we've got the habitat in the hedge. Beside it, we have new, newly planted pond and nectar mix, now in its second year, and providing a lot of flowers for the pollinators. And we have a lot of uh, nesting habitat for the birds, and between the two, a lot of um, sources of food as well. Even odd corners on the farm, little bits which are difficult to work with track, we even plant up with these wild flowers. Here we've got quite a selection, ladies' bed straw, grain spill, knapweed, Nathivus spime, and we have quite, quite a lot round here, all surrounding the pond over there. So made quite a little environmental feature, ideal for insects and all sorts of the birds. And this is what we like about our wildlife friendly farmers. So well done Robert. Robert takes the time and makes the space for nature. <laughs>